I didn't think you'd still be here. Oh, it took me a while to get all this stuff back in the boxes. I guess I owe you an explanation for uh, losing it a little while ago. <laughs> That's why I took my time repacking this merchandise. I was hoping you'd apologize. No, I did not say apologize. I said an explanation. Okay. I'm listening. All of a sudden, it just hit me. I looked around and I saw the furs and the jewels, all this luxury, and uh, I realized my family is broke. That uh, seemed a bit unfair. Quartermains have no one to blame but themselves, Monica. No one uh, stole their fortune away from them. They tossed it away. That's true, Sean. It still doesn't mean I can't feel sorry for them. All right, then make them alone. But if I were you, I wouldn't depend on getting my money back. Because the Quartermains' problem isn't financial, it's psychological. They're just too greedy for their own good, that's all. So what does that make you? <laughs> I know where to draw the line, obviously they don't. You draw the line. And how much money you make, not how you make it, right? What are you implying? I'm not implying anything. I am merely inquiring. I would just like to know how you came to be able to afford all of this, Sean. And you don't tell me. I did tell you. You don't believe me. I still don't believe you. That's your problem, Monica, not mine. Sean. Look, Monica, I am not Alan. And don't think for a minute that you can shove me away or around the way you do him. If you want a punching bag, stay with your husband. If you want a man, you know where to find one. Sean, I want you. I want you. I don't want any other man. Why do you think we are? Oh, here we are, all alone in this great big empty house, and we spend our time arguing. I know, what a waste, isn't it? Yeah, I can think of far better ways to spend the afternoon. Okay, name a few. We could pretend that this is a, oh, the most luxurious hotel in the world, and we have just checked into the honeymoon suite. We could hang the Do Not Disturb sign out. Mm -hmm. And I won't have this honeymoon interrupted for anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good thinking. Well, it's not the hotel for Charles, but we've never had any complaints. Well, I should think not. The rooms are absolutely lovely. Well, I'm sure not quite what you're used to. Oh, I think we'll be very happy here. Well? It's very nice. Well, good. Since it's going to be our home for the time being. I still can't believe it. You can't. <laughs> <laughs> the quarter mate's moving into Kelly's. Will wonders never see Well, it? let's not make too big a deal out of it, Ruby. I mean, it's just for a few days, you know. Well, you never know, dear. We may like it so much that we may never want to leave. <laughs> Does that mean Kelly's is going to be in the society pages? Oh, good Lord, no. The last thing in the world we want is any publicity about this situation. Well, uh, just the quarter mains passing through. I mean, I can't wait to tell everyone. Oh, please don't. Now, let this be our little secret. This is just a halfway stop for us. We'll be, you know, we'll be gone before you know it. <laughs> gone, but not forgotten. Yes, unfortunately. I must say, though, I am certainly going to miss this wonderful coffee. Well, then, how about a refill? Uh, how much would that cost? On the house. <clears throat> oh, I'd love it. Coming up. You enjoying yourself? Well, this was not my idea. Well, you're certainly making the most of it. I find the entire situation very amusing. <laughs> you promised to find a suitable place where we could make our new home. I'm expecting results, Edward, and soon. Well, don't hold your breath. What's that? 
I say, uh, this happens to be the best cup of coffee I have ever had the pleasure of drinking. As good as the coffee you're used to at the mansion. Oh, my word, infinitely better. <laughs> Ruby, perhaps you could help. You could use Stella's help in the kitchen. Oh, no, Lila, don't do that to me. Do what? Well, I have finally found a place that makes the most fabulous cup of coffee in the world. I don't want Stella anywhere near that stove. Send her back to the mansion. Let her make coffee for Monica. <laughs> Uh, no, 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 uh, no inconvenience at all. Oh, believe me, I'm very happy to help, yeah. Right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, I'll see you soon. Right, bye-bye. Say it isn't so. I'm afraid it is so. I have to go. Bert Ramsey needs you. And Anna. Tell me something. How did Bert Ramsey get this number? I was in to see him earlier today. I left his number with him. Oh, I see. And trust him to call. <laughs> uh, look, Monica, I can't mm. turn my back on Anna, not even for you. I know that. So much for rendezvous. I know you have to do what you have to do. It just doesn't mean I have to like it. Why don't I leave you something to remember me by then? Hmm. Soon we'll be doing this full time. Oh, promises, promises. Yeah, and we'll be doing this <laughs> night and day. Mm. What the? Helen. How flattered you still remember my name. What are you doing here? What is he doing here? I don't think that falls under the category of your business, Alan. I didn't ask you. Uh, how did you get in here? Luckily, I saved my key to the front door. Oh, so you could just uh, come in and just uh, sneak up on me? No, just so I could get back into my own home. This is my home, Alan, not yours. I'm barely out of the front door before you two are at it. Well, at least now I have the proof that I need. What proof? Of your betrayal, Monica. I've suspected the two of you for a long time, and now I see it with my own eyes. If you've had your fun, I'll get out of here, Alan. You better stay out of this. Alan. How dare you bring him into this house, Monica? Alan, it is my house, Alan. That I gave you! You must be so proud of yourselves, playing me for a fool. How long has this been going on? What difference does that make? How long? You've probably been seeing him since the day he got into town. You've probably spent more time in his bed than you have in mine. All right, knock it off. You couldn't even wait until we were officially separated. You had to get your hands on him right away. I said that's enough. You've got no shame at all, do you, Monica? You must have been pawing each other publicly and privately for months. And now I catch you in my own home. You have no hold on me. You're my wife. In name only, Ellen, and I can't wait to get this divorce over very quickly. Why? What difference does it make, Monica? What are you planning to do after your divorce that you're not already doing now? Enjoy my privacy. Suddenly it's all very clear to me, Monica. You know that? Words like faith and trust and fidelity, they mean nothing to you. You must have had a string full of lovers from the day we were married. Who was it before him? All right, Alan, that's enough. And who's it going to be afterwards? Did you hear me? Your turn will come. And you've had your turn. And your fun. Now get out of here before I am forced to throw you out. She isn't worth it. Take it from one who knows. He'll claim it he is nothing but a common tramp. No! Stop it! Ellen! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! I'll call the police! I promise I will! Ellen, I will call the police! Stop it! Let him go! Sean, I mean it. Now get out of here! Get out of here, Ellen, right now! I will call the police! I don't ever think of coming back, Ellen. Because if you bother Monica one more time. I'll make you wish you never walked through those doors. Oh, oh, no, forget it, forget no. it. No, forget it. Forget it. Could have. He could have killed us both. 
right here, right on the spot. 